Hello, my crafty friends and creatives from around the globe. Welcome to Hither and Yon Studio, or welcome back if you've been here before. And if you have been here before and you're stopping back again, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you coming and spending some time with me today. I have my little coffee going in my Temptations mug that my gracious mother-in-law and father-in-law bought us for Christmas. We have a set of these in different colors. They're great for keeping stuff warm and you can warm stuff up in the microwave if you do that sort of thing. But I'm gonna have um, my coffee in here because it really keeps it nice and warm. <sighs> Yum. Okay, I recently, this past week, did a workshop for altered books. So we, I did a workshop and I uh, sat down with a bunch of ladies and we did, um, we created some altered books and it was a lot of fun and I had a great time and everybody was so friendly and sweet and I was just, my heart was full. <laughs> um, but during that process, because you do a lot of tearing of pages uh, from those books and we had, um, six people there, seven plus myself. And it was there, it created a lot of paper. I couldn't even take it all, but I did take a good portion of it. And I thought I would use this opportunity since I have so many sheets to walk you through making a concertina. I think that's what it's called. It's the folding book type stuff. So we're gonna make one of these and it is just, like so and then um, you can turn it into something that is like this with a little mixed media action going on there so these are super easy minimal supplies and they'll use up a lot of your book pages I'm going to be doing the hundred day project and so my project is going to involve something similar to this. And so I thought um, I would show you what I'm doing. It's super easy. It's not going to take long to pick it up, but you'll see that uh, you can make a, a lot of uh, great little folding booklets with this. So the first thing you want to do is, and what I found here is by not cutting these all the same size, when you start to get stuff gluing together, you see how you have these like pieces that overhang, which is fine with me. I, I don't mind that at all. But um, if you want to kind of not have that, then you'll want to cut these all the same size. So I'm just gonna cut a bunch of these to be the same width for the most part. And this way, when we're gluing them up, it will be a lot less of that. So I'm just gonna go with, let's see, what's gonna be my number here? Five. Okay, I'm gonna make these a width of five inches and I'm just gonna be consistent throughout. Now this is the side that got torn out of the book, so I'm just gonna cut that off. It'll make everything a little neater. And then we'll have them all the same size as well. Um, now the weight of the book page doesn't matter so much. However, if you're working with really old book pages, this might not be the best project for that. I mean, it could work, but you may want to, oh, and here's the other thing. I need to find pages that are the same height. So it looks like I'm working with two different piles here. So make sure these are the same height so you want you want these from the same book and you just want them all to be consistent height and width whatever that is do that um so what was i saying now i forgot that's how it works anyway <laughs> um moving on yeah so oh i know what i was saying i was saying that if you have some older books this might not be the best project for that because those pages are really delicate and when you're going we're going to be doing a lot of glue application so and we're going to use a glue stick sometimes and i have found that when you do that with some of the older books it tends to tear more easily so um you probably want to use something that's either a heavier weight book or 
you know, something with a little strength to it so that it holds up under this. So if you also do altered books, then this is probably a great idea for you guys to use up those extra book pages that we inevitably get. All right, and there's only a few steps, so this wasn't, isn't going to be a super long video, but I'll follow it up with a little bit of a decorating video, and then you guys can uh, get some ideas on some ways that you can decorate these. But this is, yeah, this is just super simple. So again, just cutting these down all to the same size. I think that's enough to get us on our way. And I'm going to be using my Uhu stick. So um, this is the one point, what size is this? Do, 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 do. Why isn't this stuff easy to find? Forty grams. So this is the forty gram size. I don't know how that translates to ounces or whatever, but anyway, um, that's what I'm using. You use whatever glue you have. Um, I recommend a glue stick for this because wet glue is going to increase your drying time. Can you use wet glue? Yes. Can you use Mod Podge? Yes, you can. But it's just going to increase your dry time. And I found that once you get these all put together, especially if you're going to sew, it's not going to be making that big a deal. So, um, let's get rid of that page. Um, just gluing on top of an old magazine. And so step one is we're just going to glue these in half, uh, matching the bottom of the page to the top. And you want to have your glue really well applied, uh, especially on the ends, like the corners and the edges. You want to make sure you have a good amount of glue there because you don't want that lifting in the next steps or after it's dried. All right, and then we're just gonna match it up and fold it in half, top meeting top to bottom. And I like to use my little um, spackle knife here and just smooth this out and get all that glue distributed well and just make sure everything's adhered nicely. And we'll do a few more. All right, so just make sure those edges and corners are really well glued down the middle too because you don't want a lot of air bubbles in there where stuff is not gluing it's too it's not gluing to itself and then you get lifting as you add more items to it. Now I know there's some glue sticks out there that are probably not very well made and they may not hold up so well. So if you don't have a level of confidence with your glue stick, then by all means, use the wet glue. But I would say don't put it on too liberally because it's just going to add to the dry time and um, make it so you're going to probably have to need, need to leave it dry overnight. And if you're an impatient person like I am, <laughs> that might not work. Plus, it, it squeezes out of the sides more. And to me, that's just a lot messier of a process but if that's that's how you roll then that's how you roll all right so i'm going to glue up a bunch more of these you kind of get the idea and then i'll jump back in and we'll go to the next step all right see you in a few minutes all right so i'm back i have glued all of my pages together and for this, you're going, so if you're counting, what you want to do is have two pages for every page you want in your book. Okay, so you want two pages for every page, and then we're going to join them with another page. For So for every joint, um, you need a half a one. So if I have three pages here. I need a half of this to connect these two and a half of this to connect these two. So together to make a three page, I need two, four, six, and seven. All right. So just keep that in mind if you're counting and you want to um, 
and you want to just glue enough for a single book. I just keep gluing and because I'm going to make a bunch of these. And so I just, I'm just going to carry on beyond what I need, but all right. So now what we need to do is divide this out so that we can cut our connecting pieces in half. Now, I think I made enough for eight pages plus centers. So let's see, that's one page, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Oh, wait, seven, maybe it was seven. Okay, and then um, if I'm doing seven, I need six in between. So two, four, and six. So I have enough here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. I thought I counted eight before, but that's fine. All right, so what we're gonna do is we need to cut six connectors and you wanna cut them. So you want, you, we're gonna be, um, these are the pages and they're gonna go kind of sideways. This would be the book page upright. We're gonna turn it this way and then we're gonna connect them to each other with a centerpiece. So you wanna make sure that when you're cutting your centerpieces, they are also in the same direction as your pages. Otherwise, they're not gonna be the same size, you see? Okay, so I need to cut these in half and these measure. About four and a half, so I'm gonna cut them about two and a quarter, maybe a little more. And your book pages are probably gonna be a little different. They don't have to be the exact same size. If they're not, don't worry about it. but you do want them to be straight and you want to make sure that they are all facing in the right direction. That's the most important bit. Okay, so we'll put those to the side and you may or may not already know what we're gonna do here, but I'll give you some of the tips I found as I figured this out and was doing this. So basically we're going to be gluing two pages together to make a really sturdy page and then this is going to go, let me move this out of the way for a sec. And then this connector is going to go between those two pages. So it's going to be sandwiched in between. And then we're going to be butting up our next page, pages like so. And then we'll leave a little gap so we can fold. So what I learned as I was connecting and doing that whole piece of it is that it's a lot easier to connect one side and then go back and connect the second side. Um, so meaning that we'll put, you know, we'll put two pages down and we'll connect them to the centerpiece like this and we'll go all the way across however many pages and then we'll come back in and fill in with our other sheets. It'll all make sense in a second. If it doesn't, I'm pretty sure it does. But um, So, I want to find approximately the center of this one and we want to glue this down. Again, make sure you have really good coverage with your glue. And we're gonna put it about there. And just make sure it's straight. Okay. You wanna get it down really good. All right, and just make sure your sides are aligned and everything's lined up. All right, now we're gonna take another one and we're gonna add some glue here to the second half of our hinge. We'll call it the paper hinge. And then we want to glue down our next piece and I'm just leaving a teeny tiny little gap. It's probably even less the, than a 16th. It's very small, but we do need some folding room. So just leave yourself a little gap there. You don't want to butt this page right up against the other one. All right, like so. All right, and now we're just going to continue across until we have all of our main pages connected. So I said seven, so I'm going to connect seven pages. 
pages. Flip it over. We won't, we won't butt it right up. We just leave a little tiny gap there. Just make sure everything is aligned. And this is why it's so important to have those pages all the same size. Now, if you like the wonkiness, which I, I totally do, and I'm, I'm happy I got it on the other one, you, can, you don't have to cut them all the same size. But in this case, there may be someone who that would drive nuts. So <laughs> I uh, wanted to make sure that we had it pretty straight. All right, so you kind of get the gist. We're doing just one side here and we are laying our hinges down and then applying our second page here. So I'm just gonna finish up. I'll speed this up so you guys don't have to watch. Play amongst yourselves and I will be back in a second. All right, this magazine is making me hungry. <laughs> so, um, I have all my hinges here on this side. So these are the pages with the hinges in between here. And I ended up with eight pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I ended up having to glue two more pages together because I miscounted. I, I know I said seven, but then, well, math. So now we're back on the hinge side. Okay, this is where that center piece is and now all we're gonna do is match up and glue pages down to these other pages that we have in place so I'll start with the first one and then we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna leave a little gap and match that up so you want to make sure it's all aligned and matched up on the four sides. And you can kind of look on the side to see where your next one starts so that you can match it up well with the other page on the opposite side. I hope that's making sense. So this is my hinge right here. And the start of my next page is approximately like less than an eighth of an inch from the other one. But I can see it uh, kind of just slightly right there and I can match that up. And as long as my sides are matched, everything should be straight and I should be good. I'm just gonna give it a good squish. And you do the next one. Again, be liberal with your glue stick, especially on the ends and the corners. And it doesn't matter if you get it over, it's gonna, we're gonna cover these anyway, not in this video, but we'll decorate these up in another video, but yeah, it's not that big a deal. And like I said, I can see like the edge of the other one. You wanna get them as close as possible because when you go to fold this, you want the fold you want to make sure, and if you want to fold as you go, just so you can kind of keep track of where your next piece is gonna go, by all means, do that. Just make sure because your glue is gonna be sticky that you release these from time to time so you're not gluing them together. And there, add in another one, line up the edges. Squish, squish. <laughs> and this is just, it's going to be a really sturdy, a really, really sturdy surface to work on. And because it's book page, it's really porous. Most book pages are very porous, so it can take a lot of mediums. We will decorate with some gesso in an upcoming video and then some different options I'll show you. So look for part two where we decorate these. 
if uh, I'll link it to this video if I can remember. When I do videos after the other, I tend to forget. So um, just look for part two and it'll probably be in the same playlist. So, all right, so we're done. That's five. I'll just finish up the other three and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so now I have glued all of my pages together. We have a very strong hinge in there that will keep it really well together. Something I'm going to do off camera might be to sew these. So if you're going to work directly on the book page and you like to sew, you may want to come in here now and sew these together uh, to secure it. You may just wanna sew at the seams to kind of secure it. If you're going to put paper on top of this and you're not gonna paint or something like that, you may wanna leave it for now and sew the paper that you're gonna be putting over top of this. So, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's really super easy and this is super, super strong. It's, it's, it's like a very heavyweight cardstock, almost like a lightweight chipboard when you're done. And when this dries, you just kind of want to make sure, keep going back and reinforcing everything. But when this dries, it's super sturdy. This is one that I did about a week ago and it is really sturdy. Now I wasn't so good at pushing down my paper. So I got some gaps in here, but I don't mind. That doesn't bother me too much. I'll probably be covering up a lot of this and stitching and putting fabric on it. So that's it. That's our, um, that's our concertina. I think that's, please correct me. I think I'm saying it right, but that's it. And you can make so many of these. How fun would it be to make one of these in a different color theme? And then everything you put in it is a different color, like reds and blues or yellows or whatever. And then you just have them all stacked up on a shelf. I think that would be so fun. It's also a great way to, um, you know, use up magazines because you can tear and put pieces in. But anyway, we'll get to that in the, in the decorating video. I hope you had fun today and I hope you'll try this yourself. Uh, let me know how you did. How big was your, how big was your book? I mean, I literally can make this a hundred pages, but <laughs> it would just go on forever. Um, thanks for spending time with me today and we'll decorate these in the next video. And I will see you in the next video, I hope. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day or night. Bye.